Okay, guys. So recently, I've been getting questions about uh, quartiles and how I play them, how I use them, how I construct them, and all that. Then also the arpeggio pattern that I use a lot. Okay, that particular one that you guys love so much. I know you love it. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you today. So this is gonna be a very brief video. I'm not gonna do it that in depth. I just want to give you uh, this hands-on uh, understanding of both concepts as the quartiles and the arpeggio pattern that i use so that you can just get it as soon as possible all right so let's get started first of all let's talk about the quartiles right. um yeah what's a quarter chord basically a quarter chord is just a chord that has intervals of perfect fourth in between each and every one of the notes of that chord so uh for instance c is our root which means we're gonna play the c quartile chord Okay. Now, if you check this chord very carefully, you see that in between C to F or the distance from C to F or the interval from C to F is a perfect chord. And also from F to B flat is also an interval of a perfect chord. And that makes this total chord, the C chord, a quarter chord. So that's a C quarter chord. So if we want to go in depth into the, uh, you know, whole steps and half steps, you will just understand that um, two and a half steps actually makes a perfect chord. So in between each, like okay, from uh, C to F, that's a two and a half step. From uh, F to B flat, that's two and a half step as well. So that makes it, uh, you know, intervals of perfect perfect chords, and in total, it makes it a quarter chord. All right. So um, just as a drill, you can just go up chromatically all the quarter chords just to, for you to have it you know handy so i'm back at c quarter chord again all right then uh for the arpeggio don't worry i'll show you how to use it in the song the song is what you see on the screen that's the song video i'll show you how to use the quarter chord you know in that uh, song with that song all right so the uh, arpeggio pattern that i use let's say i'm in the key of f Yep, so this is the RPG pattern I use a lot that you guys love. So, I'm on the key of F major. So, what am I doing or how am I constructing it? I'm just going 5, 1, 2, 3. So, I'm calling the numbers, which is 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5, 1, 2, 3, 5. Remember on the key of F, so F is the 1, G is the 2, uh, A is the 3, B flat is the 4, uh, C is the 5, D is the 6, E is the 7, and F again is the 1. Alright? Alright. So, that's basically, I'm even using quartiles already. Can you imagine? I'm using quartiles already. This thing I did. That's a quarter. I just went chromatically from this. Look at it. You understand? I can also do. That's also a quarter. I just went a whole tone down. Alright, so let's go over to the song and just see how I use it in the song uh, while I'm preaching a song. And we're on B flat in the song, yes. So just take notes. B flat. You see, the guy even did it. Oh, sorry about that mistake. The guy even did it. Let me take it back. Sing it out, sing. Just listen. You understand? So either you understand. Although this keyboard is not that wide, if it's my second keyboard, you hear everything very well. So that's that's the arpeggio pattern. Exactly what I did. So one five Where is your three four. I'm calling it chord progressions. One, five. You understand? 
Dan Luca, what's that? You understand? So, look at what I did. I did it on the one. Okay, so let me see. Sit upon the drum. That's normal. Sit upon the drum. Sit upon the drum. Sit upon the drum. So now use quarter. Sit upon the drum. You understand? So. That's a quarter. Just going, just going uh, a whole tone down from this. So, so I kind of play this first before landing on my one. Okay. So that's basically it. Then I can now use my arpeggio to end it. So I hope you get the whole concept of this. Like I said, this is a very brief video, so I'm not like trying to show you everything and everything, but this is something that you can get started with and it will help you a lot in your play, the portals and the uh, new, the arpeggio.